Let's now take a look at how to work with playlists. For that I show you here my small English marketing channel and here I work a lot with playlists. Why? Because I have videos about different marketing topics. So if you have a channel with a lot a lot of topics, for example here LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, Google Analytics, Canva and so on and so on. So a mix of digital marketing, social media and graphic design and not all of my viewers, not all of, my, of the people that watch my channel are interested in all types of videos. So in order to make it easier for them to search for a specific topic, I have playlists here, which are also visible on the home screen. So if somebody watches a TikTok video, he can simply go on my channel and click here on the TikTok playlist. And this is of course a nice way to improve my clicks because then people really click on videos. I wouldn't go here in the video tab and then search for TikTok which they of course also can do. But what people are doing is the way with less effort and simply click here on the playlist. So I try to really show them also old videos. Of course here some of the videos are one month old or in Google Analytics some of the videos are half a year old. And I really try to improve my old videos or the performance of my old videos with playlists. Furthermore, if people are searching for TikTok or for let's make Google Analytics 4, then click on filters and playlist, which not a lot of people do, but still chances are there that they find my playlist. But in order to make this possible, I need to improve some stuff here. What do I need to improve? At first I click here on content and click then on playlists. Here I have all my playlists with the videos inside, video count and the last update. Which means whenever a new video comes in, it gets an update. And here I can click on edit on YouTube then I can see the playlist like this. I see the videos and I can, if I want, sort them. If it's like a 10 video playlist with videos 1 to 10 in the exact order, I could sort them. And I can also change the title to LinkedIn Marketing Step by Step or LinkedIn Marketing 2023, whatever I want. It should be catchy. I didn't do this because it's only for my home screen here but not for ranking because I know with only 10 videos inside this playlist I won't rank anyway. So you should have at least 20 videos inside of a playlist. It doesn't make sense to have a playlist with only one or two videos. Then I can also write a description which I would also highly recommend. You can again do this with vidIQ or another artificial intelligence tool or you write it yourself but it should include of course LinkedIn, LinkedIn marketing and other keywords based for this specific playlist or for the specific topic. That is how to improve your playlist. And how is it possible to have it then here on the home screen, that is also simple. You click on customization and then you have here featured sections and here you can either use all the created playlists, then you have playlist after playlist like here, or you say, I want a single playlist with all my LinkedIn videos. Let's publish this. And now 
I also have all my LinkedIn videos here because this is the LinkedIn playlist. Compared to this, they created playlists all together. I remove this and we'll add now actually popular videos to put this here, which is also a good way to boost your top videos. Okay. Let me show you an example for a guy that uses playlists pretty good. Here on home, we have this featured video and we have a lot of playlists. So all these sections here are playlists. You can see that by this play all button, then you have all these videos and he simply promotes all his playlists and that's it. That is a good way to get more engagement, get more likes because people want to see what they already saw. So if I already saw some finance tips or a video about finance tips, of course, I want to see more about this specific topic and not something about investing maybe. And that is a good tip here. Yeah, I would click here on finance tips, of course. So it improves my performance or the performance of my videos because I have things categorized that people could never find for themselves.